Hello guys, Axel once again, and this is going to be my thoughts on the Microsoft conference for E3 2014, and I have to say, oh, sorry, I got distracted with the Xbox 360. Anyway, back to my story is that, yeah, it was better than last year, I can say that. Awesome. It was a good move for Phil Spencer to be the president or... Yeah, the head the head guy for Microsoft Studio. Because the guy is all about games. And that's what he delivered. Games, 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 and games. It was a good move that they announced about the hardware update and the new SKU before the conference. 90 minutes of game. That's what conference was all about. Better than last year. Last year was, it's sort of, oh, we got Twitch, we got entertainment, and, oh... It's going to be $500 with the Kinect. And people are like, uh, what? So, now, finally, it's about games. 90 minutes of games. What's in there a, basically, a bombshell or a wow feature? Unfortunately not. There wasn't even, like, the main event game. Games that we expect that's going to be out, like Call of Duty, Halo, Halo Collection. And, of course... Some of them is going to be Xbox exclusive, and again, kind of disappointing as a Sony guy, but as a business, that's a good move for Microsoft. Again, exclusive helps make your console reason to get the Xbox One. Remember, last year, nobody even give a care about the Xbox One. Nobody basically wanted to buy it. Like I said in my commentary video that most of the people said, I'm not buying this. They went to Sony. So the whole point of this is they try and redeem themselves, and they did. Yes, they lost, they threw away all their old vision, have a new vision, and the new vision is all about games. And that's what it is about. That was a good move for Microsoft. Games, games, games. I mean, the game that was interesting, I know they're multiplat. Tomb Raider, I guess a sequel to the reboot one. That's interesting. Can't remember the other ones. There were some other ones, man. <laughs> That's a problem. You watch it and you forget. I guess that's it. And for exclusive, yeah, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct Season 2. Now, with TJ Combo as one of the characters, like I said, in the conference. If that goes to the PC, I'll buy it for the PC. And of course, Dead Rising, the new DLC, which is... <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be like a Final Fight joke parody. So, again, kudos for Capcom. Again, remember, they're broke. They can only do DLC. And, of course, Platinum gives new exclusive for the Xbox One, Scalebound. So, Wii U has... Bayonetta 2. Xbox One has Scalebound. And, of course, Sony had exclusive for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. But, I don't know if that's a Sony exclusive, but whatever. Platinum Games, actually, now there's a... And it's going to be like Devil May Cry, Guy with a Sword. High flying action. Hey, I might get it. I'll think about it. But like I said, I don't intend to get an Xbox One. I bet it's a good game. Sunset Overdrive reminds me of Ratchet and Clank. I guess you could say a Ratchet and Clank for the Xbox One. That's good. All right, for the conference overall, what's good? Good. It had a variety of games, more games than ever. Now you got games that for shooters, for adventure, create the game, RPG. Multiplayer game, etc., etc. The problem with the Xbox in the past was mostly, oh, what the Xbox for? Oh, good platform for shooter, first person shooters. It's always shooter this, third person shooter, sports. Not anymore. That's a good move for Phil Spencer. I think that was a great move. Variety. Again, embracing the downloadable games, or let's just say the independence games, indie games. Again, good. Everything there was much better than last year, I think, I mean, it, for the general consumer, I think they are going to consider getting an Xbox, because of the, Xbox One, because of the games, so all we have to see is what Sony's up their hands, again, they got Gaikai, they got Project Morpheus, maybe their conference going to be two hours, I don't know, hopefully I'm a Sony guy, I know I'm sounding biased, but again, I'm sorry, it, I, I like Sony stuff. In the video game, anyway. So, anyway, I gave this conference an 8 out of 10. I just tweeted it on my Twitter. Because they showed games, games, games. It's all about game. 
variety of games. Nope, not just shooter game, other shooter game, and shooter game. People were all professional. There was no hiccup. And I, unfortunately, there's nothing about Killer Instinct, but because they already showed it in the pre-conference, their pre-conference for Microsoft. And like I said, TJ Combs a new character there, or the returning one. And again, if that goes to the PC, I'll buy it for $60. No, I'm not buying for sixty dollars. Heck, no, man. It's a fighting game for crying out loud. So again, anyway, the conference itself was good, better, professional, no hiccups. So it's eight out of ten. Good job, Phil Spencer. Good job, Microsoft. So the next video is my thoughts on EA and Ubisoft's conference. Both of them are gonna be one hour, and then after that is my commentary on Sony. And my thoughts on Sony. And then tomorrow at 9 a.m., Nintendo's digital event. Nintendo, I'm giving you a chance again. Not like last year. Last year was a boring Nintendo Direct. Hopefully this year you be show something better. And then after that, I'm probably going to watch some of the Nintendo's events, Sony's, Microsoft, IGN, GameStop, whatever what interests me. And I'm, I might check out the Smash Brothers Invitational, which is going to be at 4 p.m. And then on Wednesday, I don't know, I'm still debating whether I should go to a Best Buy that has the Smash Brothers Smash Fest. There's one closing where I live. Oh, well, well, again, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.